and writer, Nancy Stafford. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you, Lee. Nancy, obviously you're here for the Arts and Entertainment Conference, and I'd like to start off by just asking you a little bit, could you tell us about your background, uh, TV productions, film productions, you've done <laughs> a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Brag. <laughs> <laughs> I've been an actor for about 150 years. Listen to you. <laughs> and um, I have done it all from, actually I started um, doing commercials okay. in South Florida, in Miami. Okay. A nice small market, like Virginia is a good mar small market. And from there I started doing print modeling and moved to New York and was a model with the Ford Agency and oh, wow. then got my very first acting job was a soap in New York okay. and have done six TV series as a regular, lots of guest starring roles. You need to name a few of those. Oh, okay. I did a show, um, I did a soap in New York called The Doctors. Okay. I did a series in Los Angeles, an uh, Emmy Award winning show called St. Elsewhere. I think I've heard of that hey, one. Yeah, it was a good show. A few good people came out of that show, like Denzel Washington oh, really? and, wow. and Mark Harmon, yes, that's who was true. my fiance on the show. And then I did a little show called Matlock. Now, I'm not familiar with that one. Well, What's all Matlock about? Well, it's a great guy named Andy Griffin, <laughs> and he never lost a case. Well, he's, you know, <laughs> it's Andy. It's Andy, and I got to be his law partner, so what I was, never lost a case that, either. What was that like working with it him? It was amazing. He's, um, he's not only just a lovely man, he was a, a consummate professional. He was a very underrated actor. People just think because he makes it look like he's just playing himself. Right. He's just a good old boy, but he's really uh, studied and a very, he was an amazing actor who just made it look easy. So I learned a tremendous amount from Andy, not only about the work of acting, but also just about how to, how to conduct yourself on set, how to set the tone of a show because of doing a series you're there for nine months a year wow. 18 hours a day it's and you a have long to play time. well with others don't you, you do and he really <laughs> taught us all how to do that so well and talk about great. some of your films I mean oh. I, again um, <laughs> I, Christmas with a capital C for closed mm. Uh, season of Miracles and a film that we'll be seeing this week, Superheroes Don't Need Capes. Yeah, it's funny. I, I recently, I never could do films. I was always doing television. Right. And But we've come into an era now where there's no longer a demarcation. You're either television or film. Now you can finally do both. You can do both. And I'm finally getting to do films. That's so wonderful. in the last uh, two years, I've done about seven films. And Christmas with a capital C is a fabulous, wonderful film. Um, I, I made the mistake of, of kind of making a wish and saying, you know, I'd really love to do a Christmas movie. Well, I've just finished my third Christmas movie. I was going to say, <laughs> I, think, I think you uh, got that wish. <laughs> I've got the corner on the Christmas market now, but uh, it's wonderful. And then the, uh, the new one that will be out this Christmas is called Christmas for a Dollar, a period piece. And um, one will be on Hallmark this Christmas called Christmas Oranges. Wow. And um, so it's just been rich and exciting, and I get to play now at my age. I'm not any longer just playing the ingenue. I get to play characters, and I get to be in period pieces, and I get That's to kill wonderful. people, and I get to die, wow. and I get to do thrillers. Hold back, Nancy. <laughs> Well, well, tell us about, you have a couple of workshops that you're doing tomorrow. Um, one, the business of building a career without losing yourself. Just briefly tell us about that. Oh, I think it's such an important topic um, because I have, for, in my long career, I have just seen uh, just uh, the carnage of, sadly, some people that had amazing talent but just didn't have the wherewithal to keep their life and their head on straight. Um, it's a difficult business. It's a business rife with rejection. And so if you don't really, from the very beginning, have a clear understanding that every audition you go on, it ain't about you. You know, it's their decisions right. are not about you. A lot so of, it's a lot of how to how to just keep your wits about you, how not to, to, to avoid pitfalls because it's also a business people want to use you up. And so how to keep your conviction strong, how to choose your boundaries of what you're going to do and not do. And uh, it's my hope that not only just young people getting into the business can attend this workshop, right. but even seasoned professionals who've you know, been at it a while. We can all kind of learn a little bit better that your career is not your life. I think that's really important. I think people um, sometimes get focused on the one goal yep. and kind of lose the message in between. They do. Really look forward to seeing the workshops tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for, for having me. For uh, allowing us to visit with you. Thank you.